new 7-inch long-wave ferrite sleeve loop antenna. Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I've been doing some research on long-wave antennas, and uh, I've watched this particular channel several times. This gentleman uh, builds um, loop antennas, I call them loop antennas, um, for medium wave and long wave. For instance, this is one that he's built. It's seven inch diameter ferrite sleeve loop antenna. And um, the construction, you, the biggest problem is getting the parts for constructing an antenna. Now, he builds what I consider some fairly elaborate uh, antennas. So yeah, it's kind of beyond my capability. So I kept on looking. Here is a web page with some antenna reviews and or designs. And we can click on one of these. Um, this one is probably the one I just showed you. Yeah, it's similar to the one I just showed you. Again, if you go down here, here's all the parts you need. And some of the parts are going to be a little hard to find, such as the... Um, Coil, not the coils, but the um, oh, the ferrite, ferrite rods. Now he got these. He said this Russian surplus. Okay. Now again, kind of out of my realm. Here's I went to Universal Radio, shook short searching for long wave antennas, and the only place I found any. Is there under their listing discontinued shortwave antennas? So that's not good uh, unless I want to try to capture one off of eBay. But I can come down here and like, some of them tell you the range 0.5, so that's medium wave. 0.3, it's still not low enough. Now this one says 0.02 to 60 megahertz. Let's just look at that one. Well, that's a strange looking animal. So it goes down for, to 20 kilohertz. And of course, it's not available anymore. So that's the RF Systems DX1 Professional Mark II. Maybe I could find that on eBay. Probably not too likely. Let me see what else I can find here that mentions. Here's one that goes down to 0.1 megahertz. Now this one doesn't look so complicated. Again, this particular antenna is discontinued, but I could find one maybe on eBay. Let's see, it says it's only 16 feet. Hmm, that would fit in my yard. And it says it covers 100 kilohertz to 30 megahertz. Hmm, wow, I wonder how effective it is. So, eh, there's one that uh, is a reasonable size. But again, I couldn't make one of these from scratch. I just don't have that capability anymore. Oh, let's see. Here is a mini Wyndham. Goes down to 0.5. No, that's not far enough. I think that's about it. And here's one. Now here's one, some, some that Sony made over the years um, that were long wave and short wave and medium wave. So here's the AN1, which looks like a vertical antenna. This one would probably be hard to find. Goes down to 150 kilohertz, and it's a 59-inch uh, whip with some other circuitry to uh, tune it. I haven't ever seen one of those used, but I haven't looked for one. Uh, here's another one that's for long wave. Uh, this came with a Sony, I think it was a Sony 100, or you could buy it separately. And let's see if it says, da, 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 reception, does it tell you? It says reception over long wave, medium wave, and short wave bands. So there's the antenna, it's a little hard to see, and it has a little electronic box that it sits on. Again, it's a vertical antenna, a whip antenna. Don't know how effective that would be. I think I've seen those on eBay. Pretty expensive. 
And I think that's about it. Yeah, I think that's about it. And like I say, these are all discontinued. If you go over to the uh, antennas that they have in stock, I was not able to find one for Longwave. So I'm continuing my quest, and th this is this is my next dilemma: is finding an appropriate antenna, number one, that I can use in my little area, and number two, that would be pretty efficient. And then we have something over here. Oh, here is. Uh, there's many websites that would do a calculation for a dipole, how long a dipole would have to be. So I'm going to put in 0.1 megahertz, and I'm going to hit calculate. Here's the results. It needs to be 4,600 feet. I don't have room for that. I don't have room for 468 feet, maybe 46 feet. So that ain't going to work. I don't know if they, yeah, this calculator does not um, calculate for like quarter wave or something like that. So if you got any suggestions, I would appreciate it. Uh, I need to find an antenna to use to try to pick up a long wave because typically on your setups, one of the most important components is the antenna. And so if you don't have an antenna that's designed for the frequency you you want to listen to, you're not going to hear much. And that, of course, that has probably been my problem in the past. So anyway, if you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. I'm open to any of your suggestions. Bye-bye.